Today I'm participating in the What Would You Make Open Collab. This is hosted by Zaina of OK at Home DIY and Marsha of Marsha's Mush and Stuff. Their guest host this month is Sandy from Sandy Lumber Mill DIY. Links to their channels and the playlist are in the description, so please check them out if you're not familiar with these ladies. This is the crap that tried to beat me. I mean, everything that could go wrong did. I've got these fan blades that I was saving to make a farmhouse windmill with, and I had the bright idea to try something different anyway I removed the hardware from them and then I came in with some of this Dollar Tree speckling and filled in some holes and then I decided I didn't really need to fill in all of them because I'm gonna need some way of attaching them together so I left out the speckle on the right hand side of one blade the middle of another and the left hand side on the third blade thinking that I would attach them all together there anyway I did a little sanding with my Dollar Tree sanding block just lightly sanded it and then I cleaned it up with a lint free cloth and some alcohol and taped it off now I'm going to be trying to create a skinny candy corn here I'm just using some painters tape come down about a third of the way eyeballing it and then the last section at the bottom I just cut in half figured out half of it and put the tape down and I really didn't measure and try to get everything precise but anyway here we go with the Waverly white chalk paint on that top part and this is after two coats Everything's going smoothly for now. And then I came in with this Spiced Pumpkin Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint. And this angle brush that I got at the Dollar Tree. I was painted with that for the top also. And I painted orange on the bottom. Two coats of orange. Fully covered. Looks wonderful. Then I realized I messed up. The orange was supposed to be in the middle and the yellow on the bottom. So, call that a base coat or whatever. I went over it with folk art paint in the color moon yellow. At this point, I'm mad and I'm slapping paint everywhere. I don't care where it's flying. It's just going. Dab it, splatter it. Had to do two coats of it. To cover the orange now orange goes in the middle still kind of mad still just slopping it on there do you ever get irritated with your crafts I mean this one really got on my nerves and it's not finished yet oh no there is more to come two coats in the middle and that's how it's looking got my colors in the right place everything's lined up okay took the paint off and it ripped off the varnish on the fan blades not a total loss because i wanted it darker to give some separation between the colors and so i'm going in with a coat of the pumpkin spiced pumpkin yeah spiced pumpkin from apple barrel Then I went over the lines, kind of give a little swoopy, zigzaggy line in between the two. Just pulling that orange down onto the yellow and up into the white. Because that orange section on candy corn is always bigger than the white and yellow. Now, for the bow. This is some ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to make two sizes of bows. The smaller one going in the center of the bigger one like so and i'm going to tie all that together with some polka dot ribbon that i got from dollar tree just pull it to the back tie it in a tight knot pull it back around to the front tie it again 
And that bow is not going anywhere. There. I'm going to cut those ends. I just cut those on a slant. And uh, dovetailed the wide ribbon. Like so. All four ends. Now I made the decal with my Cricut trick or treat. Don't remember the fonts I used. If I'll put them in the descriptions when I figure that out. Now, I had a stroke of genius or a stroke of stupidity or just a plain stroke. I decided to go with a fine tip black marker and zigzaggy, zaggy just kind of haphazardly around on the between the colors just to give it a little more whimsical look I guess you'd say and when I put my decals on it pulled off the orange paint so I went in and touched up the paint but I got the wrong color I was touching it up with the color jack-o-lantern so I had to go over that again Now, when I started to put them together, I realized I had put the wrong decal on two of the blades. So I impro improvised, whew, boy, that's a $5 word, improvised and poked the speckle in out of some holes and put them together like this. I just got some twine that fit through and put them together like so and pulled it tight there we go now I'm gonna to have to glue them together to keep them separated like I want them so I took a pencil and made a line where I wanted them and then put hot glue on that line and scooted the fan blade back into place and I did that on both sides. See my pencil line there? It's very faint. But yeah, I marked it. Put some hot glue where I marked it. Put my fan blade down. Bada bing, bada boom. All done except for the bow, right? <laughs> Wrong! Oh, just wait. I had glue strings everywhere. And I grabbed my lint roller. And I'm thinking I come up with a new hack because that did really good for removing the glue strings. So, now I'm going to glue this bow on, give it a good fluffing, and my long tails are too long. So I scrunched them up, and they're still too long. It's covering up my wording, my lettering on there. So, yeah, that looks dumb. Nope. Gotta cut them. Take two on the bow. Fold it up. Yeah, fold it that way. And snip. Okay, that's better. Looking good. Looking okay. Hadn't beat me yet. Looking fine. Okay. Okay. And there it is. That's laid on my craft table. But this project was not through with me yet. I picked it up to put it on the door and it came apart. So I went in with E6000 over those hot glue lines and glued it back together. Yep the paint off and everything I just went down that line where the hot glue was and put the fan blade back in place positioning it so it was where it was before put some blocks on there I had something really cool planned for these blocks of wood but this dang thing took me so long to finish that my time was running out so anyway I'm gonna put my bucket of adhesive on top of that so it's nice and weighted down now here it is hanging on the door here it is finished 
hopefully not going to fall apart. Oh my goodness. This really tested me. Didn't give up. Finally finished it about 3.08 this morning. Hmm. Anyway, have you ever had a project that just really tried to beat you up? Comment down below. Let me know what happened. Let me know I'm not the only one out here on this desert island that's struggling. Until next time, bye-bye.